So today we're going to talk about how to quantify the afterload in unit as a part of the hemodynamic assessment of the systemic flow as a part of the targeted neonatal echocardiography protocol. So we have two ways to quantify the afterload in units. The first one is the systemic vascular resistance, abbreviated by SVR, and the other one is left ventricular and systolic wall stress, which I'm going to show you how to calculate it. So when it comes to the systemic vascular resistance, as you know, the blood pressure is a component of the cardiac output and the systemic vascular resistance. So simply, the SVR is calculated if you know the blood pressure, the mean blood pressure, and the cardiac output, which can be calculated by an echocardiography. And also, just to let you know, there are many apps and websites that are available online uh, that can give you the SVR as long as you know the blood pressure, as long as you know the all parameters of the cardiac output. For example, I'm going to show you a website that I use, which is bocusneo.org. You do need a membership subscription to actually access their apps. There are some free apps, but to calculate the SVR, you need a membership access. So I'm already logged in here. If you want to calculate the SVR, you go to the apps here, and then you go to premium calculator apps, and it's going to take you to a few of their apps. If you go to the integrated hemodynamics, click on it, and then it's going to show you this page here. So basically, it's asking you to put the parameters for left ventricular cardiac output, which are, as we talked about from before, the aortic diameter. So let's say it's 0.5 centimeter, for example, the aortic uh, VTI, let's say 7 centimeter, heart rate, let's say it's 130, and the, the weight of the baby, let's say it's 0.9. So to refresh your mind, I posted a video about how to calculate the left ventricular output in a previous video, and feel free to watch it. The other parameters that you need, you just need the mean blood pressure, let's, it's, let's say it's 30. When you hit calculate, it's gonna give you the left ventricular output here, and then the systemic vascular resistance here as a number. So this is how we come up with the SVR. So the other parameter that we can look at is the left ventricular and systolic wall stress, and the unit of that is grams per centimeter square. First, you need the left ventricular dimension during systole, you need the left ventricular posterior wall during systole, and you need, of course, the systolic blood pressure, which is available already. So how to come up with these two parameters here? So you can get those from any of those views. Here on the left, you can see the short axis view at the papillary muscle level. This is the left ventricle here and with the, with the right ventricle on top here. And these two bright spots here are the uh, papillary muscles. And this is the intraventricular septum. This view on the right here is the peristernal long axis view. You can see the right ventricle on the top, intraventricular septum here, and this is the left ventricle. And basically, you just have to run the M mode cursor through the RV and the LV here and this at this level here. Or if you're using the short axis view, you can run the M mode cursor through the left ventricle as well. And then you're going to come up with this view. Again, this is the cavity of the RV and this is the cavity of the LV with the intraventricular septum in between. We can easily calculate the left ventricular dimension during the systole here. And then the posterior wall during systole, you can, we can easily also calculate it here. Again, to quantify the afterload during assessment of the neonatal hemodynamics, we can look at these two parameters, the systemic vascular resistance and the left ventricular and systolic wall stress. Of course, previous to performing the echo, clinical assessment is also crucial. I hope this was useful and see you in the next video.